going to heat this head up. I'm going to try to get this stud to go in there. And it's about, what, 40 degrees right now, it feels like. Yeah. In there. So it's a good time to start heating heads up. So I'm going to try it about 200 degrees or so initially, and then higher than that if I have to. Okay, I'm going to put my welding gloves on. That way I warm up a little bit. <laughs> Or not quite so much because it burn my piss out of my hands if I don't have these on. Of course, I make sure I get the one with a hole and I'm so burned. Okay. Oh. Oh. This gas will get around first. Looks like oxygen is going to be first out. Okay, we got our holding fixture right here to hold the heads. I had to build that up so I can do that. I need a holding fixture. I didn't want to try to bear hug the hot ass heads while I was trying to put studs in them. I'm not that stupid. Make sure there's nothing flammable around to catch on fire. Yeah. Yeah, very nice to call us. for lubricate and materials, so we're going to put some oil on here, hope for the best here, it's already not going, it doesn't surprise me, so whichever hole we try before we got about halfway in, before it stopped dead in its tracks. Go quick and hard if I go away. I doubt it. It's already stopping. Still turning? Yep. Good. Take it down about one thread. Now it goes snap. And the nuts just turned. That was a stopping point. 1.4 inches is what we need. Nope. Eighth inch off. No, you didn't like that spot? <laughs> Obviously those studs were too loose. That is not going to work. So now I got a bigger headache. I'm pretty sure that's not coming out of there very easily. All right. So this did not work. So that means we are going to do something different. One is I got to cut that stud out, which should be fun. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to buy an oversized tap and tap these holes out oversized and then maybe the studs will go in the damn holes because obviously these are not going to work. Alright, more work to do. <laughs> <laughs>